Welcome to the video lecture on even and odd signals. In this video we will consider an example wherein x of t the given signal is equal to 1 plus t plus 3 t square plus 5 t to the power 3 plus 9 t to the power 4. So now the task is to find the even part of the signal. We know that the expression to find even part of the signal x e of t is equals to x of t plus x of minus t divided by 2. From the given equation we know what is x of t but we don't know what is x of minus t. So what we have to do is to find x of minus t from x of t we have to replace t by minus t in equation in the given equation. So that's what I'm doing now. So I call the given equation as equation 1. So now I have to replace t with minus t. So I would get x of minus t is equals to, so 1 is uh, the constant, it remains as it is 1 plus minus t plus 3 minus t to the power 2 plus 5 minus t to the power 3 and the last one plus 9 minus t to the power 4. So now, so now I can simplify this further. So I would get x of minus t is equal to 1 minus t plus 3t square plus minus sorry minus 5t to the power 3 plus 9t to the power 4. So now I would call this as equation 2. To find the even part to find the even part xc of t, I have to add equation 1 and equation 2. Later, I have to divide it by 2. So, xe of t is equal to, so 1 plus 1 results in 2. And t minus t cancel each other. So, next, 3t square plus 3t square is 6t square. Similarly, plus 18t to the power 4. So now I have to divide this by 2. So I would get 1 plus 3t square plus 9t to the power 4. So this would be my even part, the even part of the signal xe of t which is equals to 1 plus 3t square plus 9t to the power 4. So the next task is to find the odd part of the signal. So we represent odd part of the signal as x o of t. And we know that that is equal to x of t minus x of minus t whole thing divided by 2. And again we know that what is x of t but we don't know what is x of minus t. So to find x of minus t we have to replace t by minus t in the given equation. So I call the given equation as equation 1. So by replacing t with minus t I would get x of minus t is equal to 1 plus minus t plus 3 minus t to the power 2 plus 5 minus t to the power 3 plus 9 minus t to the power 4. So by simplifying this I would get 1 minus t plus 3t square minus 5 t to the power 3 plus 9 t to the power 4. So I would call this as equation 2. So I would call this the expression for x of minus t as equation 2. So to get the odd part of the signal I have to subtract equation 1 and equation 2. So I would get x o of t which is equal to 1 minus 1 cancel each other. Next t minus of minus t is 2t plus 10t to the power 3 that's it and divide it by 2. So I would get x o of t which is equal to t plus 5 t to the power 3. So this would be the odd part of the signal.